YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Today, we're going to be looking at the Crux Bull and Bear. This is a cigar that I've taken quite a bit of time with in the past week. Very excited to tell you about it, so y'all hang tight. Stay tuned, we're going to get at it. All right, today we're gonna to be smoking the Crux Bull and Bear. This will be the size of Robusto Extra, which comes in at a five and a half length body, 55 ring gauge, so a little bit of odd, a little bit odd size, but still a great cigar. I've got the chance to smoke a couple of these in the past week, and I felt like it would be a very appropriate cigar, very worthy to be reviewed. Now, this is a Nicaraguan Puro. It has a wrapper from Jalapa that is a Habano wrapper. I, I believe it's a Habano wrapper from Jalapa and the rest of the components are also from Nicaragua. This cigar is rolled at the Placencia factory as you guys know. I'm a big fan of Placencia cigars. So without further ado, I'll take it out of cellophane and see what we got. Very different band. You automatically will notice the band on it as I'm sure you'll see in the B-roll. The little strips of brown here are exposed pieces of the cigar and the band just kind of wraps around in a couple of strips. A very nice band at the same time though too. Really cool in the logo. You can see the bull and the bear inside of it. Has a nice medallion with the Crux logo on the back. A very nice looking cigar. Has some tooth present. Got some tight visible seams on it. Kind of just a barnyard smell on it. Nice double cap on it. Pretty big cap on the top and another one on the side here. Very nice looking cigar. Can't take that away from it at all. Nicaraguan Puro retails for nine dollars, so not a bad price point on this thing either. So we'll go ahead and cut it up. See what we got. A little bit of that chocolate fudging is coming out. A little hay on that too. Very good draw. All right, y'all. Excuse me. I'm open up my lighters for today. What do you think, Eric? You think let's flick and chill or give a flick? Uh, give a flick. All right, we'll use that one. So yes, the cigar is a very, very good price point on this thing. This also comes in a Toro, which is a six by 52. And then they have what's called a Gordo marble head. I believe that one comes in at a six and three quarters by 54 ring gauge, I wanna say. But an interesting thing about this is Crux has been around for a while, but they rebranded the cigar late last year or early this year. So they all new pack, they did all new packaging on the cigar, all new bands. So, but the blends have remained the same. So if you're used to Crux cigars and you like the blends, they are the same. They just did a complete revamping of the packaging and the bands. All right, looks like we got us a good light. Good earth on that, nice mineral note. Black pepper is probably about a seven out of 10. Feel like I'm almost picking up a little bit of a very dry cocoa powder on that too, on that finish. Yeah, a little cocoa powder in there too. So you're getting a little cocoa powder, little mineral note that's not bad at all. I actually like it with the earth and a little black pepper and that's how we're starting. So we'll come back when we get through the end of this first third, I'll give you body flavor, strength, all that good stuff. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, so we're working our way through this first third. Really enjoyable cigar. I wanted to come back and confirm that it is a Nicaraguan Puro. It has a Habano wrapper from Jalapa. So that is the wrapper. Everything else is from Nicaragua as well. And the sizes were the Toro, which is a six by 52, the Robusto Extra, which I'm smoking today, which is a five and a half by 55, and the Gordo Marble Head, which is a six by 60 that has a, a Cuban 109 style head, which I'm very, I'm very, big on those uh, caps or those kind of heads. Now, for the flavor, I would say on the low, low side of medium to full already, as well as the body, strength is probably a medium for me. The pepper now is a definite white pepper. You're still getting some earth in there. You're still getting a little bit of minerality, which works out with the earth pretty good. And you still have some nice chocolate undertones. Also starting to pick up a little bit of a nuttiness on that finish too. Really enjoyable cigar. The draw and burn have both been Excellent, no, no complaints so far at all. Just been able to sit back and really enjoy this cigar. So 
that's pretty much it for the updates i'll come back at the end of the second third let you know if there's any flavor shifts any more transitions anything like that so y'all hang tight and stay tuned all right so we're making our way through the second third of this crux bull and bear still very enjoyable second third is still mostly i would say that white pepper you're still getting a little bit of earth and the and the cocoa powder is on that nice long nice and clean finish the finish reminds me a lot of some hvc cigars not the taste but just how like nice and clean that the cigar tastes it's a very well tasting cigar construction has still been solid draw has still been good no complaints at all ash is not really flaky but it's, it's something i'm paying attention to just because i don't want it to follow me i can look at it and tell if you're not careful this will be one that'll kind of drop on your lap so that's why i'm kind of holding it over the ashtray but overall nothing else too crazy has been going on change wise or transition wise i would say that it's still about the same low side of medium to full for body and flavor and the strength is still textbook medium for me nothing that's making me sweat or nauseous or anything like that has a good smoke time on this thing too I'm, i think i'm gonna write around a, a hour or so now and still got a whole third to go through so that, that bodes well good price point on this thing for nine dollars so no complaints overall so i'll keep on smoking come back and let you know if there's any changes or anything like that so y'all hang tight all right so we're making our way through this last third on this crux bull and bear still really enjoyable i would say the earth has dropped off a lot and you're starting to pick up more of that cedar wood you're still getting a little bit of a that, it's a nice mineral taste though it's not like the dominican mineral taste it has a very different profile to it and then on this finish it's just really nice and clean and has that cocoa powder and that nuttiness on the finish very good still would say the strength is a medium for me body's low side of medium to full and the flavors are low side of medium to full as well so we'll go ahead and score the cigar so for flavor i gave it a 17 out of 20 excellent flavors on this from start to finish i gave the draw a 20 out of 20 the burn a 20 out of 20 complexity is 16 out of 20 and the strength of 16 out of 20 overall score on this is going to be an 89 out of 100 very very good cigar right there on the cusp of being an elite cigar for me very very good i would actually love to smoke this in another size and see how much it changes the blend just smoking it in the 6x60 marble head or the toro and i'd like to see especially the toro with it being a smaller ring gauge but i would have no problems picking up a five pack of this i think this is a very good cigar I've also got the chance to smoke the Guild and the Epic here. I like both of those as well, too. So be on the lookout for reviews of that as well. I think Crooks is, is doing some good stuff over there. So that's a brand that you might want to start paying close attention to. I think you're going to start seeing them pop up more and more. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in to this review. Y'all already know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We're going to catch y'all in this next one. Peace.